Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about application of shunt compensation, end of line voltage support to prevent voltage instability. A simple radial system with feeder line reactance X and load impedance Z is considered here. The normalized terminal voltage V versus P that is PV plot at various load power factors ranging from 0.8 to 0.9, 0.8 lag to 0.9 lead are shown in the figure. If we observe this non-compensated radial system, the nose point at each plot given for a specific power factor represents the voltage instability corresponding to that system condition. We know that the voltage stability limit decreases with inductive loads and increases with capacitive load. Here we will observe the diagram. We have a transmission line, radial system, feeder impedance X and load impedance Z. Vs is the sending end voltage and Vr is the receiving end voltage. Now if we observe the PV plot of this particular system which is non-compensated, we can see the peaks of the nose curve like this. This peak of the nose curve indicates the instability margin of the system. The inherent circuit characteristics of a simple radial structure and the PV plot clearly indicate that shunt reactive compensation can effectively, in, effectively increase the voltage stability limit by supplying the reactive load and regulating the terminal voltage. It is evident that for a radial line, the end of line where the largest voltage variation is experienced is the best location for the compensator. Extension of voltage stability limit by reactive shunt compensation. Here we can see the same radial line is being given compensation at the load end. And we can see here the change in the waveforms or PV graph obtained due to this shunt compensation provided at the load end. So we can see here that the nose of the peak curve or we can see the stability margin here is increased. Reactive shunt compensation is used in practical applications to regulate the voltage at a given bus against load variations or to provide voltage support for the load when Due to generation or line outages, the capacity of the sending end system becomes impaired. A frequently encountered example is when a large load area is supplied from two or more generation plants with independent transmission lines. The loss of one of the power sources could suddenly increase the load demand on the remaining part of the system causing severe voltage depression that could result in an ultimate voltage collapse. So, in order to avoid such situations for a radial long transmission line, shunt compensation is provided at the load end. This is one of the applications of shunt compensation. In next coming videos, we will see the applications of shunt compensation one by one. Thank you.